Well, on this week, a delegation from the U.S. Civil Rights Organization, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, is in Ghana visiting the site of their ancestors. Stacey Nott has more from Accra. It was a last-minute decision for Miranda and Henry to come to Ghana. So far, the NAACP Board of Directors member has found his visit inspiring, emotional and rewarding. Henry is part of the group of almost 300 touring Ghana this week. On Thursday, some delegation members visited the home of W.E.B. Du Bois, the famous American writer and civil rights activist who moved to Ghana in his later years. Today, his home is a museum and his final resting place. Now that I'm here right now at the W.E.B. Du Bois Center, uh, was monumental because he was one of the founders of our organization and just to come and see the work that he did, him and his wife did when they came to Ghana was just monumental for me. It was emotional but just to see, see it in person was life changing for me. The group has met with Ghana's president, visited significant cultural and historic sites and taken part in business and labor forums. NAACP President Derek Johnson says the journey is about reconnection. But it's an opportunity for the NAACP, our member supporters, and African Americans to reconnect with Africa, to ensure that the African diaspora strengthens over time, but more importantly, for us to understand the journey that brought us to America. The Year of Return campaign was launched by President Nana Akufoado in Washington, D.C. in September 2018. So far, a number of high-profile visitors have come to Ghana, including members of the Congressional Black Caucus last month. Ghana hopes to attract half a million people for the Year of Return. Stacey Knott, reporting for VOA News, Accra.